In this video, we're going to test our JDBC connection. So in the previous video, we did a lot of work with downloading jar files. And what I want to do here is just do a very simple test to make sure that our JDBC connection works just fine. So what we're going to do is create a very simple JDBC program just to test everything out, just to make sure everything works out okay. So what I'd like to do is move into this uh, Hibernate tutorial under the source and I'll create a new package. So right click, I'll say new package. And the actual name of the package, I'll call it com.lovetocode.jdbc. And once you're happy with that package name, go ahead and click on finish. And now what I'd like to do is actually create a new class. So again, right click on that package name. I'll say new class. And the actual name that I'll use for this class, I'll call it test JDBC. Just very simple and to the point. Um, I'll also check the little item here for public static void, just so I can have a main method uh, for this program. And again, hit on finish. All right, great. So we have a very basic program here and uh, let's go ahead and dig in and uh, let's start writing some code. So I'll just set up a very simple uh, try catch block. So I have catch exception exe. I'll do the exe.printStackTrace trace in case something goes wrong. Hopefully not. <laughs> And what I'll do is I'll just set up some uh, variables here for my uh, database connection information. So first off, I'll set up my JDBC URL. I'll call it JDBC colon MySQL colon localhost 3306 slash. I give the name of our, my database schema, which is HB student tracker. And then here I'll say use SSL equals false. Just so I don't get that pesky um, SSL warning uh, that MySQL introduced recently, which is really annoying. But anyway, use SSL will make that go away. All right. So that's our JDBC URL, um, our user ID that we created. And we did all this stuff in previous slides here. Um, our user is uh, HB student. And we have this very secure system where our password is the same as our username. Only for training purposes, right? Okay, good. All right. So our URL, user ID, and password. Great. So we can use this information to actually give us a connection to a database. All right, and here I'm just mentioning again that um, use, SS, use SSL as equals false is to get rid of that uh, pesky MySQL SSL warnings. All right, great. So let's go ahead and write some code here. I'm going to make use of my driver manager to uh, get a connection. And I'll also do some system out print lines here to tell, my, tell myself what's going on here. All right, so I'll say system out print line um, connecting to database. And I'll just drop in that JDBC URL. And then I'll attempt to get a connection. Here I'll say connection mycon equals, and then I say driver manager dot get connection. And I pass in uh, my JDBC URL, my user ID, and my password. And if that works out fine, then we have a successful connection. So I can print a statement here saying connection successful. Yahoo. I like to have fun with this stuff. All right. So that's the piece there. Now we need to fix some of our imports here. I can just click on this red X. Uh, we need to do that import on java.sql. So choose the second option here import connection in java.sql select that item and yeah that takes care of the item there so we're, we should be good to go here all right so just some very basic code here to uh, test out our database connection all right so let's go ahead and run this application so just do a right click run as java application and then it's going to fire up and say connection successful. Let me expand this window here so you can see everything. So 
connecting to database, connection successful. So this is great. So this is just a confirmation that uh, we have the correct URL, user ID and password. And also more importantly, is that a JDBC driver that we have in our lib directory is associated with our class path. So we know that we can get a valid connection. So this is always the litmus, the litmus test that I like to try. Make sure I can get a plain vanilla connection to make sure things work. And also, again, more of a sanity check here. Um, I'm going to add a bad password and see if this program will still work. So I bad password on purpose. I added extra Z's there onto the end of the password and run it again. And now, you know, we get an error. So it's basically through an exception and it said access denied. So that means, hey, we either use the wrong user ID or the wrong password. So so we know that <laughs> this really is connecting uh, to the database and there's no smoke and mirrors here. Uh, we're making the, a real connection. So anyway, again, everything's configured out just fine and um, we're in good shape. And this sets us up to be able to successfully build out some Hibernate uh, applications. All right. So we'll get into the Hibernate details later on in the next video, but we're successful so far. So good job.